This has been the front line of an environmental battle for the last year and a half, and at the center of that battle, these disposable plastic bags. New Yorkers use around 23 billion of them every year, according to the State Environmental Conservation Department, which also says that almost all of them end up like this, as trash in trees, on the street, and in most cases, down drains into waterways. In the rain, there'll be a hundred right here. In the rain, there'll be a hundred bags right here, a resident says. An environmental advocate elaborates on the bag's hazards. Because plastics are a petroleum-based product, and so just this continuation of creating plastic and plastic bags actually fuels our demand for fossil fuels. She talks about the results of a long effort to ban plastic bags at New York retailers. The law became official in April of last year. Then, this past February, just before the ban was supposed to be implemented, a lawsuit against it was filed by a plastics manufacturer. And in August, a judge ruled the ban can go ahead and it's supposed to start being enforced today. Which is why this scene was eye-catching. At the Food Emporium supermarket in Harlem, they were still handing out plastic bags. The manager told me off camera he felt an obligation to ensure some kind of bag, even if it meant the store could get fined, be given to every customer, like this shopper. I just bring my own bag. Do you think you might have ended up doing that today if they didn't give plastic bags? Yeah. I would have had to go back because I would have forgot. A variety of people told us the ban wasn't well publicized. They should have been getting the information out to people before the day before. I just heard this this morning. Stores will first get a warning from the state if they're found giving out disposable plastic bags. After that, it's a $250 fine. Here at the Harlem Pioneer Supermarket, they allowed us in to see that they're no longer using the lightweight, disposable plastic bags they used to use. But the state says that any plastic bags whose handles aren't sewn on, like these, are still disposable and subject to a fine. So it's clear it's going to take time to reduce confusion. And so the confusion, yes, it does exist. We will point out that inquiries we made to a plastics manufacturing trade organization not responded to. The state also saying that after a second offense, the fine goes up to $500 each time. There are some exceptions to the plastic bag ban. A full list of those exceptions are on this story at Pix11.com and all Pix11 platforms. Right now, reporting live from Harlem, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.